Another party, another Friday night, another talk that might turn into a fight. Too many faces, you only see online. Too many cases, a fake and by design. Wake up every morning just to go right back to sleep. Text everyone you already know you'll never meet. Dance alone around your room. Thank you, thank you. In this video, I will take you to my first week in the new job as a tech lead. How does it differ from a senior software engineer? Well, in the first week, it's not really that different. As you can see, I'm already getting bored, playing with my phone, and very disengaged. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> So back to what happens on your first day, you meet your team, be prepared for a brief introduction and this is when you usually say, I'm really excited to be here and very excited to work with a team, but you actually have to mean it. The first day is also when you log into all the systems and all the required access is sorted out for you. So you gotta log in and bookmark a lot of different web pages and for me the most important part is github access and once I had that, I felt like a real software engineer again. Apart from access, there's also a number of training modules to complete. I like to get these out of the way as soon as possible so that no one bothers me to the next 6-12 to 12 months. But in all seriousness, your first day is the most exciting day. It's like the start of a honeymoon phase. So enjoy it. I know I did. And then I finished early to meet up with my partner and we watched Moulin Rouge and it was epic and it was such a perfect end of the day. Good morning everyone. It's day two at my new job and I'm just charging up with coffee and also excited to get the day started i guess what i really try to do is finish all of the required modules in the first two days and have the code base set up and running on at least on the second day you know this just gives a good first impression people say that first impressions don't matter but they do if you are going through your stuff quickly and if you look like you're switched on and you know what you're doing and you're going through the tasks swiftly then it does make a really good impression even though people seem so relaxed about it or maybe my type a ass is just a very type a for the record i love being type a anyway it's my second day and i had the code base checked out it's a front-end application connected to apis so how different could it be and if it is different, then that's a red flag. We have standards to do this now and have established best practices. But to this day, not everyone gets it right. So dependencies are now installed and I finally had the app running. So I picked up my very first card and my goal is to raise a pull request by the end of the day. So here's another personal goal that I have when I start a new job. To merge my code in the first week. Is it just me or do you also have goals set for your first week? So I received something in the mail today and um, package days are always the most exciting days so... How's your, how's your first day? Oh, first day was good, um, quite productive actually, got through all of the training stuff that's out of the way. <laughs> person in the office today and 
it's kind of weird. This new job, it's actually consulting. And my client just happens to be in Sydney. The reason why I'm at the office today is because there is a React Melbourne meetup tonight. So work-wise, what I'm doing today is just waiting for final reviews on my pull request and also clarifying some requirements in the current card that I'm working on. The BA said she'll be free at 12 p.m. which is usually my lunch time but it's my first week so that's fine for now but moving forward I will never take 12 to 1 p.m. meetings. That's just my boundaries. <laughs> Enough chatting now. Hello! I'm doing really well thank you. How about you? going on with his work. He's a lot more hardworking than I am. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll take you guys to the meetup as well if it doesn't get too busy. <laughs> 